CapCut is here to transform your photos into works of art. From basic edits to jaw-dropping enhancements, it's creativity at your fingertips. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do all that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Open CapCut and create a new project. Here I have downloaded some items, so we're going to add them to the timeline. As you can see, we have a F35, Cards, and Sunset. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Click plus to add to timeline. As you can see, this is just a still picture and we don't have full details. So we don't know exactly what's on the right or left because it's a smaller size picture. We're going to use the AI expand feature in CapCut. Click on edit and we're going to fill this area. Now go to fit, select 16 by nine. And over here on in the middle and top, you can see that there's a, a part that you can type in your AI command, but we don't need that right now. Click on generate and it's going to take a few seconds to generate the whole detail. And AI is going to fill in the parts that's missing or it's not there. See what I mean? AI decided to come up with four different variations and we're going to select one for our project right now. Let's select the last one and click on apply and click on confirm. Now we can look at the comparison here. If you look at the screen right now, here is a smaller picture. We had the original one, and this is the one that was created by AI expand in CapCut. Let's add another one to the timeline. Click on plus, And as you can see, I created this in Dreamina AI. And here's a picture, the original one we just created. And here's the Dreamina one. The position of the jet fighter is in the same location, but the background has changed. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Let's take a quick look at Dreamina AI. This is Dreamina AI. I went to image generator. Then I type in the prompt F35 flying over the beautiful sunset. Then I used the original F35 picture as a reference. And Dreamina created four different variations for me. And I selected the one I liked, which is this last one. Now let's go back to CapCut and continue what we were doing. Now first let me show you how to use AI remove feature in CapCut. Go to AI remove. Now click on the brush tool to remove. Now paint the area you want to remove. I want to delete this Dreamini AI logo and just cover it. Once you cover that, then go ahead and click on remove. Now the AI starts the process of removing the logo. And you can see on the top is doing the process and it's done. As you can see, the AI filled in the area that we had the logo. And this is the difference between the paid version and the free version. With paid version, you have all these features at your disposal. Let's add another picture. Click on plus, add it to the timeline. Here we got the cards scene. We have a bunch of cards, but we don't have the full detail. We're going to do the same thing with the AI expand for this picture. But this time we're going to use the AI prompt to insert another object. Click on AI expand, go to edit. Now go to fit, click 16 by nine. And in the prompt type in, add a queen card. Now the AI starts the process. Once it's completed, you will see the queen card has been added to our picture here. If you look at the second one, you can see clearly there's a queen card. And when you check the other variations, you can clearly see the queen card is present in the picture. There is one right here. Go through each and select the one that you need for your project. And then click on apply and click on confirm to finish the process. When you do a comparison with the original one, you can see that the area that was missing now is filled in by AI. And that's a huge leap in visual effect because now you have a room, a window, light, which you didn't have in the original picture. Now what we're going to do, we're going to need to remove the logo. So let's go to AI remove and let's uh, delete some of these details as printed by AI. Click on the brush, select the area you want to remove and cover the whole area there and click on remove and the process starts 
and once it's completed you will see there is nothing left underneath this picture the process has been completed there's nothing there we got a little bit up here so we're going to select that area too and we're going to click on remove as well it takes few seconds for the process to complete once it's completed the area we selected will disappear as it never happened and that's the power of ai remove in CapCut. the process has been completed and the area is now without any writings on it let's brush the one on the right and one in the corner in the left hand side there's a little ai and click on remove the process starts and once it's completed the entire picture will not have any writings on it it will take a few seconds for the process to complete and the area is cleared now always use good practice to remove any unwanted logo or writing and make sure you're not doing that just because to avoid the copyright let's use ai enhance let's enhance this picture go to ai enhance and click on hd and in a few seconds your picture is turned to hd and then if you go to ultra hd the ai converts the image to ultra hd quality and these are the excellent features in ai provided by CapCut, which makes it a lot easier when you're doing an edit on any still pictures like the ones we have on the timeline let me show you another cool trick for the jet fighter in the sunset let's go to ai replace and click on the brush we're going to brush the area and we want to insert a jet fighter in there let's go ahead and paint the area here and make sure there is like a, like f-35 uh, flying beside this other f-35 when you brush a smaller area you get a smaller replacement so in the prompt type in f-35 fighter jet and then click on replace and click on OK to use some of the credits you have now you have four variations of the fighter jet some of them they look kind of weird but some of them they look legit I personally like to see this above the existing F-35 yeah I like this one but not really so much so i like to see like f16 i want something different let's undo that and go to the brush click on the brush brush the area on top and we're going to select a, a bigger um, area to brush on so we can get a decent a jet fighter painted on the area here that we're painting on this looks okay now go to the prompt and type in F-16 fighter jet or just F-16 fighter and then click on replace and the process starts and here we go we have four different variations of F-16s now one I like this one this one looks okay this one is nice this one is kind of small I like this one with a little like a bomb thing under it or something close to like more cinematic look this is okay I believe yes we're gonna stick with this one that's all that's all you have to do in CapCut to utilize AI expand AI replace AI remove and AI image enhance and of course there are so many other things to learn in CapCut which we will cover in future tutorials you can also watch the other tutorials we are offering at the end of this screen and I see you in the next video please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell